this is another essential fix for an Acorn Electron, but not any Acorn Electron. It's the Acorn tape recorder. This one is the ALF03. This was a donation from Todd. This needs a little bit of an upgrade. Hi guys, Retro Tech Ralph here with another upgrade video, this time the Acorn Data Recorder ALF03. This time, this was the donation from, well part of the mega donation from Todd. Thank you again Todd. I've tested this, I've tried things off screen before I needed to do anything, and I know there's one essential part that needs to be done on this. There you go, data serve to the rescue again. So this time it's the ALF data cassettes and tape counter belt set. So there's two belts in here, you have to replace these, honestly. So the tape recorder came as is, I haven't done anything with it. The power supply was a lot more twisted, thanks to, thanks to my partner, she's untwisted most of this and everything runs smoothly. So I have tested already this new power supply, I've looked inside, stripped it down, cleaned bits that had inspection, checked the power supply, the voltage and everything works fine. Just waiting for an explosion then, if you were, ha. So power supply goes in there, the light is on. So, I've watched other videos on people repairing these. There's one that the Retro Box Room does, and there's a problem with if there's a piece of plastic broken inside here for the actual opening or parts of this, it's, mine works perfect. If it's stuck, I actually cringed watching it because I didn't fully get what he was doing, but if it's broken inside here and you hear a, a rattle, which you don't, then that will have broken, but mine hasn't. So let me get you in a little bit closer. Let me show you something. This from boxed, unboxed, works perfect. Right, so I press the play button, nothing's going around, but you have to put the switch over. So why do you need a belt, Ralph, when you've, um, it already works? Rewind works, fast forward works. Pause goes down, you have to press that tab at the back. This is this is for, for new people, this is people who not grew up with cassettes. It's a tab at the back there, you can press to record and play. That will start recording on the record head. And you play back head, stop cue. This works fine. The thing with it is that doesn't go around, the counter. I had already opened this, like I said, and quite looked inside it and it's quite nice. This is using retro retrobiting next year. It's it's November, this is not gonna get done this year. Um, yeah, it, basically I started this up, it spun round and I stopped and the counter went round perfectly fine. And then I looked at it, it had just, literally just snapped. It was, I picked all the pieces off because it only goes round here to there and it was just, squash it all back together like a little ball of rubber. It was just on the turn to go. So I'm assuming that that belt as well will be going, but precautions, get them both fixed. So unplug, safety sick, turn around. I have four screws to undo here. Right, where's the fourth? Now I've got one foot there and then the other three are missing. You gotta have a long, long neck screwdriver to get into these three. And then the fourth one, careful with these when you open them. Right, this is the battery compartment. When you press down there, it seems to go in and then it strains right here. So be careful, I've already cracked this one here a little bit right on there. But as long as you don't force it too much, you won't snap it in two. And there's the fourth. So, one second while I take four screws out of a box. Screws are out. Now, turn it round. Here's where you need, to, when this works perfectly and the bit of plastic has not broken off inside for the fix, I'll, I'll refer to Retro Box Room's video in the, in the description if I remember, or up here or whatever it is. If yours is working fine, press the stop eject button because that piece of plastic on here will be wrapped underneath the mechanism and this will not come off like that. Let me show you properly. So that's down, that will not come off just because the lid is down. It's just ha hanging on to there. And I think that, is it? No, that is not the piece of plastic that breaks off. There's somewhere, somewhere else that breaks off. Watch his video, it's really good. And we need to go through the next part. So, with me, with these, the two, this, two tape belts here. I need to take this entire tape mechanism out because the motor's there. It's actually, 
and get you in. You can see it there, to be honest. Motor's up here, it's, it is here. And there's still a lot of elasticity on there, so it's not bad. So that's the main drive belt, which probably goes in here. It's, no, it's not there. It goes in the mechanism underneath as well. But the actual tape counterpart goes round here, and I think, yes, it goes round here. So I could replace that now, but we're going to wait until the end, because I might actually break that. So, out of breath as usual. Um, I need to take this out, so unscrewing, you need where well, pliers are pointing now. One here. I assume this one here. This one here. This will just slide off if you're okay. I'm hoping this will come up and come across, but with the wiring being as it is, it might go that way. So I'm going to have to just remove that tape on there. So we'll have to just see what's what. So I'm going to remove these three screws. I don't know if the board is held in with anything else. These screws hold in the counter, so that will come off in its own. These smaller screws, some underneath, do hold on to itself. One tip when you're putting this back together again, don't think one screw, two screws, three screws, four screws. That one goes through here, the pins. And also, I need to just show you this as well. Be careful with your old plastics. There it is. That hasn't as broke, obviously, be not because of the it's been opened and closed quite a lot. It's just brittle plastics. These things happen to these type of mechanisms, shall we say. So what I'm going to do is, again, unscrew one, two, three, and see where we get from there. Now, just for completest sake, and because I wanted to get, get a little bit more space on here, there's another screw over here on this little tiny board which has all the indicators. Undo that one, that comes off, and then you've got your tape deck gone. This would be so easy for retro brighting. That will be a slight issue to do, but I can, once I retro bright, I will probably put a, soak this in isopropanol as well as this to get this off in one piece. I don't want to reprint. Reprints look shockingly bad. They're either the wrong colour or they don't match the time. They're, they're kind of tweaked a little bit and they're too much. So I'd rather prefer to keep the originals as they are. If you haven't got the originals and they're all worn off, fine. Use a replacement if you can, print one off. Mine looks absolutely perfect and when I get around to retro brighting, that will be what I'm doing. But not until next year. So, I have to try and get this out. I would've got the tape off of there. I'm thinking it's that tape off there. It's a little bit stuck in here. And I don't know why. I think it's just because those, the power leads just gripping it. There might be a pad underneath this holding this in place. Ah, it's just that. Okay. So what I can do is flip this over, like so. Okay. <sighs> it looks pretty good. I'm not tinkering with this. There's no need to do anything with any capacitors, if I wanted to, I can unscrew that. If you, you don't need to, I don't even need to take that off, to be honest. That's fine. Good. But yeah. So we need to watch where it goes. So it's round this black movable cog there, round this one here as well, around this small one. So let's get you in close. Belt is here. Ready? Leave the tape one up there. So it comes off. It, come, it feels like it's about to break. Now, you can't get that off there, so you need to undo this one screw here. Now, I do have a smaller drill screwdriver bit for that. This will be off for a moment, so no alignment problems should occur. I am correct on that, yes? Yes. So I need another one like that up there. Or is it? Yeah, I just need to pop that off of there a little bit. There's a, there's a small peg holding the centre of that in there. So I need to get that, pull that round, lift that up a tiny bit to get this off. Like so. So that is, I'm going gonna, I'm to leave that for a second. I'll show you how bad this actually feels when I finished. So back underneath there. So try and raise that up a little bit. So you just go under and then right to the back. That goes on there. I'm happy enough with that, or am I? Yes, screw. And we'll spin around. As long as there's free movement on that, you should be fine. Yeah. 
done. Now not too tight, well tight enough, that's fine. Now I need to wrap this around the black parts only. I'm going to use a pair of tweezers around this back one here while getting a bit of tension on there and hopefully wrap that round there. So around there, around there and then around there. Simple. It will, if it's tangled, it will quite easily untangle itself and get itself its natural motion to go around. That's easily done. And that's good. I'm happy with that. So we put that right round onto there. I can remantle this a tiny bit at present. It says trying to get this in. Right, so maybe a little bit pull out of there, get that lined up in there. I don't think there's a problem. There it goes. Line up there with the screw holes there and there. But I don't need to put this on just yet because I have the other belt to do. Right, so I'm going to lasso this round the back of there again with tweezers if I can. As it goes on the actual cog. Like that. Avoid that metal part there because that's actually a, a, a tensioner to hold the actual tape in place while you put a tape in. This Again, this is for new kids. They will miss that anyway. That'll go around there and freely moves around. Shows the numbers. Perfect. And then you press that button. This is again for the new newbies. Press that to reset. So I'm going to put things back together again. Get the part there. Actually, well, I'll, I'll stick here. I'll stick here and show you this part anyway. Why not? So we've got one there with a smaller screw out of the three. Make sure you put the right screwdriver bit in. I'm going to use a manual screwdriver because I don't want to tighten up too much on the plastics. That's fine. As long as you can feel it and it just nips a little bit. No need for more. Three screws are exactly the same size on here. So remember, to the right hand side of the tape, buttons. If it crunches, we've got to get the super glue out. That's fine. There's one at the back of there, which is a little bit tricky to get hold of without a magnet. Could easily use a magnet on the screwdriver or magnetizer screwdriver, which would have been a better idea. I do have a magnetizer. Watch out for your cables underneath. I don't really want to trap them. That is trapping them at the second. I probably won't use batteries on this. Nobody uses batteries nowadays, especially when I've got a power supply for it. Just pull them out of the way a little bit. Not sure if you saw that or not. Screw that down into place. Third one was on the corner there. Just, just so you can feel it and it holds. That's fine. You do not need to go anymore. Bull, china shop, no, you don't need to. There. If you want to get a tiny bit more, that's that's entirely to you, it's your preference. End of the day, this will be your tape deck and not mine. So put the front in first, lip that round bottom and then on. Make sure you're not nipping any cables and make sure no cables are between where you're going to be putting the screws through. So those two bits there and the two bits on the front, make sure there's no cables anywhere near and you should just sit in place. Four screws back in place again. These are exactly the same screws as each other, which is nice. That's gone in nicely. If you can feel the actual threads in the plastic, if it's if it's actually if you can feel it going and it's more tighter into it, just come back out a little bit and then it'll just pop itself back onto proper threads. It saves the plastic. I mean, there done. Don't want to overdo it. That's the longer one in there. That's not. What's that on? That's all right. All right, that's okay. Bit steady. Done. Third over here. I need to find some feet for this. I think I've got some. So backwards a little bit, wrong way, and then in, forward. We'll find the original thread on the plastic. There we go. Sometimes you get a little click. You know, it's just got, it's going in exactly where it wants to go. It's a little bit tight on that one. That's fine. Perfect. Actually, can part them back on. Plug her in. Power lights on, so I've not killed it. Little bit rocky. That's why I've got one of them on there. Play button. 
that's going around. The can counter does not go around because there's no taping. Although I will press rewind because it's only on that. There's nothing connecting both to it. Except we had a stack lot of tips once. Hold up, keep coming. <sighs> Now I actually couldn't find a tape, there isn't one to hand at the moment, but everything's done, the belt's on, and the counter belt is working perfectly fine. So, done, I'm happy. And it is an essential done fix anyway. So this is the original belt. Now, let's have a see. It does feel, doesn't feel as rubbery as the others, the other one. So let's do a little bit of, oh, it's actually not that bad. The other one literally just went straight back to oil. So that's actually not bad. I won't keep it. I don't need it. But that's actually not got some bad stretch on that. But also, if it's got too much stretch on it, it, it won't grab, grip itself around. So, yeah, okay, that, that it, it needs doing. The other one went, it did need doing. So, that's how you replace the belts on an Acorn Data Coder ALF03. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Please follow me on social media. Consider being a Patreon and help out the channel as best you can. Consider a donation like this was part of Todd's donation. And I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.